And behold, the character you all been clicking for. That part is actually not clickbait. Trust me, guys. I'll show you guys that it's legit. Well, hello there. Welcome. Small introduction here. The name's Oli, and I've been playing Genshin Impact for almost four years, which is absolutely insane. I used to be a free-to-play player until a certain character comes around, which I actually waste a small amount of money, and it took me more than a year, which you guys can actually check the videos yourself. But anyways, in this video, I'll be showing you guys what a 4 years old $20 Genshin account looks like, so let's jump right in. Okay, so these are the list of the characters that I have in Genshin Impact throughout 1.0 until 4.8. And you can see that I still have some characters that I don't have, especially the more recent ones. I guess you could say that it's a lot of characters for a $20 account, but remember that this account is already 4 years old, and I grind in that account for daily until the more recent update, where I have been playing far less than I had back then. Still, I guess you could say it's lucky that I have that many characters since some people unfortunately lost 50-50 at the higher pity rates more than others do. There are a total of 12 characters that I still don't have, which is Emily, Sage Wing, Chlorin, Chiori, Cheveris, Wrightsley, Linny, Baiju, Shenhe, Aritaki Ito, Yula, and last but not least, Chi Chi. Ah yes, I still haven't lost my 50-50 to Chi Chi at all guys. I am three, immune to the I pulled the Chi Chi song that I cannot relate all the pain that all Chi Chi havers have to go through. Small edit here, apparently Hoyuverse announced that in the next patch, we will be getting the standard 5 stars for free. So essentially, I can actually get Chi Chi in the next patch. But do I want to get her? Nah, not really. I would rather get a C4 Jean instead of breaking the no Chi Chi status. Back to the video. But yes, these are all the missing characters that I don't have in my account, and let's just move on to my character's build. Okay, so we're now gonna look at the build for my characters. We're gonna start with Navia first. She's still on progress as you guys can see, her crit rate is pretty much off and I need to level her up since I just recently got her. She's equipped with this weapon and her artifact set is the 4-piece Nighttime Whispers set. Her artifact currently is alright for now, just that I need more crit rate. Her constellation is C0 and her talent is 677. Then we have Skara where his build is already good enough for Overworld and Abyss and I like using him a lot for exploration with his skill and he's holding the Vovinius Codex for the weapon and he's using the 4-piece Vovillian set and you guys can see the artifact set is alright and I got his C1 for whatever reason that I could've just used that guaranteed I have for Chlorin and I don't even know if C1 is actually good and I got his talent to 988 Next, we'll go to Sanganumiya Kokomi. I love using her a lot just because her life support is got here that I don't need to worry if my teammate's gonna be cooked and the fact that she's Hydro that I can put her anywhere which is convenient. She's holding the Trilling Tails and her set is the 4-piece Tenacity set which is good for extra buffs and you guys can see that her constellation is 0 and her talent is 899. And let's move on to my personal favorite character to play, Arlequino. I really love her play so much and I find it satisfying to hit the enemies with a sight. Her whole stat is already perfect for me to play comfortably, so I don't really need any more improvement beyond this point. And yes, I was lucky enough to get her signature weapon. She just really needs that weapon, trust me. As for her artifact set, I decided to slap her a good old 4-piece gladiator because I'm too lazy to farm her recommended set, plus the substats for the artifact I use on her is already insane. Her constellation is C0 of course, and her talent is 10910. I double crown her, yes. Next we'll go to Kazuha, as you can see his elemental mastery is already high enough and the ER is just fine enough to recover the burst comfortably. He's pretty much a great support, he's using the umbrella and he's wielding the 4-piece spirit descent set, I could replace one of his artifacts set to make his EM up to 1k. His constellation is of course C0 and I double crown him on his skill and his burst. Moving to Ayaka, her stat is still good enough in spite that I don't get to play her as much, which is pretty sad considering I used to main her back then. Especially that back in the early Inazuma days, I actually built a whole shrine on Animal Crossing of all things. Because of course, I used to be an IIS sim until more character comes around, which uh, you guys better not ask me about that. And her constellation is CU0, and you guys can see I triple crown her. And next we have the scribe himself, which he's actually one of my favorite characters of all time gameplay and personality wise. I'll hide them! 
I could have sworn I just really love all Hytem's design so much, like it's just so cool that he's using half of his jacket like a cape, as well as wearing those headphones and all that, it's just gorgeous. And surprisingly, I put the Miss Splitter on all Hytem instead of Ayaka because I really wish I got his signature weapon but I wasn't able to get it in the end. As for his artifacts, I don't think there's much improvement for me to do for all Hytem since all of the artifact is actually already good enough. His constellation is E0 and his talent is Triple Crown because, let's be real, he is just the best Dendo DPS to play, am I right? Right. Okay, never tell us about that. Let's go to one of my very first 5 star I got in Genshin, the cute little bomber, Klee. And yeah, I used to play her a lot during the very beginning of my Genshin gameplay and I just happened to be very lucky to get her on my very first 10 bull that I pulled on Genshin. But of course I stopped playing her completely as you guys can see how messy my Klee build is nowadays. And also you guys can see I actually crown her normal attack because at the time I just love using her charge attack a lot for various reasons. After this we have Zhongli, I still use him a lot up until now for his shield and Osmanthus convenience. This wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Well anyways, let us check his build. He's using the Fovonius Lance and his artifact set is the 4-piece tenacity of the Millilet set, which is a pretty good set for Zhongli to use. And for the constellation is C0 and his talent is 8910. I actually crown his burst because I just love to showcase the burst back then. And now we have Xiao, you guys can see his build is pretty alright, and Xiao used to be one of the characters that I desperately wanted to get. Because during around 1.3, I wanted to get him so badly because of his unique gameplay for plunging attack, which till this day is still satisfying to play as, but I didn't get to play him as much recently. Back on the topic, he's using the Missive Wind Spear. I don't know why he's holding that right now. Let me change for a bit. Okay, now that's perfect. Let's just get moving to the artifact set. As you guys can see, he's holding the two-piece Viridescent and two-piece Gladiator. I just realized the sands is missing. Let me just put something up. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me try to find it for a second. Okay, let's just uh, use Venti's artifact. And yeah. For his constellation, I actually have his C1, surprisingly. And let's go to the talent level, it's Triple Crown because I love his playstyle, of course. Now moving on again to another character, we have Venti. I got him during the Windbloom Festival and he's the very first Archon that I got in Genshin. Now let's move on to the weapon, I equip him with a Favonius Warbow. Uh, let me just change that to Windbloom Ode. Okay, good. Next for the artifact set, I equip him with a two-piece gladiator and Shimanawa because I was trying to DPS Venti just now for co-op and move on to the next character. We have the infamous Raiden Shogun that made me lost my $20 on. You guys maybe are expecting me to get around C1 or C2 Raiden Shogun or at least get her weapon, but unfortunately, I lost my $20 just for C0 Raiden without any weapons or without any constellation whatsoever. And she's using the Dragon's Bane because I was using her for Hypo Boom team, which is convenient due to her skills. But usually I would either use the Catch or Skyward Spine for a DPS build, and she's holding the 4 piece Flower of Paradise Lost set for the Hypo Boom team. It's a pretty good set for a Hypo Boom team, but uh, let me just change the circle for a second to an Elemental Mastery. Okay, uh, we already changed it. And look at Raiden Shogun's Elemental Mastery, she's already 1k, and her talent is actually Double Crown, and her constellation is C0, like I told you guys. Next, we have Nahida. Honestly, I don't really have anything much to say about Nahida other than the fact that her whole attack animation is pretty cute with the keyboard and the camera pose, and especially with her sitting in the swing. Yeah, and it's gone. Let's go to the weapon, and she's holding the Sacrificial Fragment. Her artifact set is the Deepwood Memory set because it's pretty good for her. Moving on to Constellation, it's C0, and her talent, I actually double crown her skill and her burst. Let's go to Farina next. I found her skill pretty convenient with the auto attack, but it's also situational because she needs another healer to make things work. Usually I would put Farina with Nuvolet together because they synergize so well that the two of them alone could carry the entire gameplay. Now moving on to the weapon, she's holding the Festering Desire because it increases her skill, and she's holding the 4-piece Golden Troop set because it also increases her skill, and you guys can see the passive is really good. Her constellation is C0 just like the others, and I double crown her burst and her skill. 
Now moving on to another character, we have Nuvalad. As you guys can see, his stat is pretty good and he's one of the characters that I love to play as of recently. Just put up his elemental skill or his burst then charge attack and you get a huge hydro pump that deals massive damage. And let's go to the weapon, he's holding the wit set and he's holding the 4 piece Miracles hunter set. It increases the normal attack and especially charge attack. He is C0 and I crown his normal attack just for his charge attack because his charge attack is just insane. I don't even know what else to say. Now moving on to Nilu. I pull for her because she's very pretty and I would love to get her new outfit but I'm actually broke to buy any cosmetics in Genshin. I would love to use her more but I feel like the only viable team she's in is in Bloom team. She's holding the Anemoma and the 4 piece 4 Kasha glow set. I think I was just messing around with the artifact set. Uh, her constellation is E0 and she's 688 for the talent. And now we have Yelan. Our stat is pretty good and fun fact is that I actually got her on 2 pity after I got my C1 Shao on this rerun. But anyway, she's one of the most convenient characters for me to use whether it's for exploration or for damage. She's holding the 4 piece emblem of Sever Fates because her energy recharge is actually high so it's beneficial. Her is C0, I would love to get C1, and I only crown just her burst, and moving on to Yoimiya. Her build is pretty alright I guess, although I don't really play her as much anymore. Back then, I could've just skipped her for Raiden, but my impulse of wanting to get Sayu is so bad that, that it leaves me for winning my 50-50 on Yoimiya which is unintentional. She's holding the prototype Crescent, and her artifact is actually messy, don't look at it. I still love her though just for her personality and her machine gun playstyle and her talent is 999 on everything. And behold, the character you all been clicking for! That part is actually not clickbait, trust me guys, I'll show you guys that it's legit. So first of all, you guys can see that his stat is good enough and all that. And moving to the weapon, he's holding the Skyward Pride because it's the only 5 star claymore that I have. As you guys can see, it's just only one. As for the artifacts, he's holding the 2-piece Crimson set and 2-piece Shimanawa set. And going for the constellation that you've all been clicking for, let us see. And yes, it is legit a C6 look that I'm showing you guys. I don't know where to begin but I first thought that I would be getting a C6 Mona before C6 look because I used to get a lot of Monas back in the earlier days and so I expect that I would be getting her C6 before any other 5 stars, but here we are. I honestly think C6 Diluc make the whole attack rotation pretty much different due to using the skill doesn't reset the flow of his normal attack animation, it just keeps on going. <laughs> but I guess it does make the whole animation look a bit more natural with how he swings in so many different ways. And looking for his talent, his talent is 8 11 11. Uh, those 11s are from Constellation of course. And moving on to another character, we have Albedo. I didn't really wanted him when I first got him during 1.3, but as time goes on, I did appreciate him more and more for opening up Double Geo in which he resonates so much with Zhongli. And yes, he's holding the 4-piece Husk of Opulent Dream set, and yeah, it's all defense and he's C0 and his talent is 388. And for next, we have Shen Yun. I actually pulled for her because she's just a phenomenal for plunging playstyle. I can just make anyone into a Xiao. And she's holding the 4 piece Song of Days Pass set. And I don't know, it's not really that good. Uh, it's C0 and her talent is 268. I should really level her talents up more. But I do feel like her stats is already good enough. Up next, we have Jean. Uh, her stats is actually good enough. I don't know how many times do I have to say it's good enough. Uh, moving on to the weapon, uh, she's holding the Favonia sword and her artifact set is the 4 piece noblesse set and I feel like she's very underrated as a support. I can see why Toronto is really into her that much back in the days and she is actually C3. I would love to get her C4 especially that I can actually get her C4 from the next patch. Which I think it's pretty good for Skara and Xiao. And her talent is for 811. And we have Ganyu. She can be fun to play at times with her sniper playstyle. Her stat is actually pretty good, uh, especially with the crit damage. She's holding the Amos bow, uh, which is pretty good for her. 
she's holding the four piece blizzard strayer set in which i can actually just uh use her for free steam her is c0 and talon is 877 i actually uh, focus more on her normal attack because of the charge attack now let's move on to yai i don't know why i pulled for her because I thought she's actually pretty and I thought that she would be very fun to play but apparently I just find her kind of meh and you guys can see the artifact set is actually messy uh, it's a sign that I don't really play her anymore <laughs> moving on to the constellation she is C0 and her talent is 888 I don't know what else to say but uh, let's move on to Sino I pulled for him because his burst animation is just one of the coolest thing I've ever seen. It just reminded me of playing a Musuo game. He's holding the black clip bow and the artifact set is actually really messy just like AI. I don't really play him as much but I really do miss playing him. <laughs> but I don't know, it's just really hard to find a really good team comp for Sino other than using him for spread, hyper bloom or even like double like electro charge team. And we have Kuching. I don't have anything much to talk about when it comes to her, but it just reminded me of one of my friends who hated Kuching to death, which I felt bad for them because they kept on losing their 50-50 on Kuching. But anyways, the artifact is actually messy. She is C1, which I don't know if it's actually good or not. Her talent is 788. Up next, we have Tignari. I got him during all Hatem's banner, probably due to my friends accidentally cursed me by getting the wrong Dendro DPS instead of the scribe. And moving on to the weapon, he's holding the Siege Queen's signature bow, which I don't know why, but I don't really use him as much, so I kind of messing around by putting Siege Queen's weapon on him as a placeholder. Forgive me, guys. Moving to the artifact set, he's holding the 4-piece Wanderer set, which is pretty good for him because he mainly uses charge attack a lot. And moving on to the constellation, I actually got his C1 and his talent is 868 and we have a Yato for the next one. He's actually used to be one of the Hydro DPS that I actually use a lot before Nuvi comes around and he's drinking a boba and I don't really know where he puts the boba. Uh, he's holding the Lion Roar set and the artifact set is actually messy since I don't really play him as much anymore and yeah, you guys can see that. The constellation is C0 and his talent is 388. Next is Mona. I honestly used to hate her a lot to the point that me and my friends were forming a group as the C4 Mona cult due to the fact that we all lose our 50-50 on that damn astrologist. <laughs> but nevertheless about that, her stats is actually pretty meh, it's not that good since I don't use her anymore. She's holding the Trilling Tail set and she's uh, place holding the 4 piece instructor set and her constellation is C4. I thought that I'd be getting C6 Mona but instead I got someone else's C6 instead. And yeah, I don't even know if C6 Mona is actually good or not. And moving to the talent, uh, her talent is 4, 5, 11. That just reminds me how her burst is actually useful for people who want to make their DPS deal big damage. Like those screenshot damage that people love to show off for. After this, we have Child. Funnily enough, I used to want them a lot during the early stay of Genshin, but as time goes on, I didn't really want them at all. And when Fremenay is out, I tried pulling for him on Child's rerun, and what do you know, I actually got Ed Sheeran himself that I actually played him uh, just for a while before I got New Villette, and he's holding the 4-piece Heart of Depth set. Looking for the constellation, he's obviously C0 and his talent is 588. And finally, I had to end the showcase sooner because the video is getting too long for me. And for the last character that we're gonna showcase is Hu Tao. You guys can see that her stat is actually pretty great and I didn't actually level her up to level 90, uh, which is my bad. Her weapon is actually Black Cliff Bow, and she's holding the 4-piece Crimson of Witch set. You guys can see how good the artifact set is. Could use a better one, but I think it's pretty viable. Her constellation is C0, and her talent is 899. And to wrap this video up, I want to show you guys a brief look at my 5 stars weapon that I have. 
As you guys can see that I have a lot of Skyward weapons in my inventory, which is pretty sad considering that I won other types of weapons other than the Skywards. And that is all for today. If you guys like this video, then like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be taking my leave.